okay so if you guys think that my voice is a bit weird today it's because i am very sick right now so i'm not going to show my face in this video only the main a roll portion only the main explanatory portion so a few days ago peter mckinnon uploaded his famous video the bucket shot and it is one of the best videos i guess on the internet for photographers and for content creators because it actually explains the creators how hard it is to get a particular shot to get a particular picture or a video and how the satisfaction is like how much a photographer becomes happy when he clicks the photography wants to click for a really really long time so peter mckenna explained this particular video in a very detailed way and this is something which has brought many photographers and videographers to get inspired by him because the way he says it the way he inspires the people to click a particular picture which he says he had been wanting to click it for a really long time for a for i guess for several years so in this particular video i'm going to show you guys how to make the outro which peter mckenna showed in the bucket shot video now long story short this bucket shot video has nothing to do with the outro the main content is the key the outro is just another way to enhance the whole video and to make a proper conclusion to the whole video so making the video making the outro is pretty simple all you need to do is have some overlaid clips which is there in the download link below there are more overlaid clips which you can find on the internet but these are the best ones which i could find right now so the download link is in bio follow the steps and download the file as usual so this is the particular outro which Peter McKinnon showed. So I have shown this effort for both Final Cut Pro and for Premiere Pro. If you are coming for Final Cut Pro, let's go to this portion. And if you are coming for Premiere Pro, let's go to this portion. Okay, so first I am going to show for Final Cut Pro. So this is the footage which I have taken and this is the in splatter effect which I have taken. The link is in the bio to the download file. And this is another just a background file which you can use for your video. It can be any video, it can be a background pitch file also. So just drag the main overlay clip over the main clip, over the main picture clip and increase the speed because Peter McKinnon used a lot of speed in his video and then change the blending mode to Silhouette Luma and then you are going to see this. Then compound this to clips by pressing Alt or Option plus G and then you are going to see this and then drag the background layer below this clip, adjust the length and then your effect is ready and combine it with several other kind of templates also like around four to five kind of templates after you combine the same with five or six kind of pictures and with five or six kind of in splatter effects your effect your outro will look stunning and this is the final result add proper sound design add proper sound effects and a background music and this is the <laughs> Now I am going to show for Premiere Pro. So this is the sample footage which I have taken. It is a picture of Peter McKinnon. This is the in splatter effect which is there in the download link below. This is another in splatter effect. And this is a background image or a video which you can use for your video. Just like Peter McKinnon. He used a different kind of a background. But here we are just going to use a simple video to show you the effect. I have just made one such effect and then I am going to show you how to...
in the composite use in you can choose any one of them it is up to you in the matter settings type in video 3 or the video which you want to place the overlay on matter alpha and matte overlay are just the same just a little bit of difference now you can see this now in order to just reverse this particular effect now in order to reverse this particular effect just click on the reverse button which is there on the fs control panel for the picture clip on the track matte settings just take the reverse button and then increase the length of the background layer and render this setting out render the selection out after rendering the selection your effect is ready this is the first effect which i have made and this is the effect which i have showed the tutorial on so that is pretty much it this is a very simple tutorial this is a very simple effect to use and peter matter can use this particular effect the link to the download file is in the description below just follow the steps and download the file and then your effect is almost ready and this is the final result with some modifications and some color grading and cinematic bars guys hope you like my video so if you are into cinematography filmmaking videography and photography then my channel is just for you and if you like my kind of content and if you like the stuff i do in my channel the free stuff the transitions the plugins the alerts the tutorials and all this other stuff then please please subscribe to my channel and make sure that the push notification button is turned on so that you guys can see every time i make a new video so let's just join our hands and make this family make this community as big as we can and if you have any kinds of doubts for the videos for the later videos for the future videos or any kind of session or any kind of talk you want to have with me then you can follow me on instagram at this particular link and i will definitely definitely reply to you as soon as i get the message or see the message so with that being said thank you so much for watching guys and do let me know in the comment down below about what you guys are creating today about what you guys are creating with my kind of tutorials and all this other stuff so please please keep on creating and hustle and with that being said peace